Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can view and export the data that is used in the visualization. Also I will show you one other advanced data export concept which is about how you can even add more columns to your export or more columns to your data export but you don't want to show it in the visualization. So what I mean by that, let me just show you in a second. And before I show that, quick information that this sheet is present in the description so that you can see all of my videos that I am publishing is basically part of this video where you can easily search any of the video or you can take it as your learning schedule and keep it as a bookmark. So whenever I post any future video, since it is a live sheet, it will be added here. And you can see it by quickly jumping to the link over here present in the column B. So with that, uh, let's move on to how you can view and export the data used in visualization as well as see this advanced concept. All right, so here we are within the Power BI. And in the Power BI, what do we have is a very simple metric. We have the sales by month, right? And what do we want is export the data. So what we'll do is come over here in more options and we, we can click on export data. So once you click on export the data, you will see that you will have the sales by month uh, or that's what you are showing, right? Sales by month um, table. So we will save this since I already saved earlier. So I will replace it. So if I open the sales by month so what do you have is simple sales by month what you are showing or what we are viewing over there now this is a very simple thing right what you are viewing is you are exporting but what if something you don't want to show but want to keep it as part of the data export now in that case for example you have profit or you can have any other field like discount or I don't know, maybe quantity. You can have, let's say the quantity over here in the tooltips. Now quantity will not be part of the visualization or will not show it as a bar, but as a, just as a tooltip that how much is the quantity that you sold, right? But when you will export it again by exporting the data, you will see that you will have sales and quantity by month. So I will save this. And I will say sales and quantity by month. So what you will going to see is again the same thing, uh, sales and quantity that we showed. But the only thing is, or sometimes you know you may find it slightly tricky, or your user may be asking that when they are exporting the data, they may want to have couple of more attribute which is not part of the visualization, but it is useful for their analysis. So in scenarios like those you can easily do this by putting those fields in a tooltip and then export it over here in the visualization. So that's a quick thing or a quick tip I wanted to show you as to how you can do that. Now I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.